Hey, I hope you're having a fantastic day, everyone. Uh, today, I've just kind of been thinking a little bit about the underdog in some ways, but also how sometimes we can make excuses for our own life. And as I've been doing devotion, I thought I'd share a little bit with you because sometimes we can look at our own life and we can blame our past circumstances. And then it becomes our excuses for our future situation. And, um, and, and what I mean by that is sometimes we might say things like, oh, I was, I was born into maybe this type of family or this type of living situation, or I didn't get the attention I needed from teachers at school or, and, and maybe, maybe you had all these different things that you faced as a young person. Maybe it was, uh, you know, you might say, ah, I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks or I grew up in the wrong neighborhood and all of these things that you've had to face in your life. And that is tough. Here's what's also crazy. Jesus, he came from Nazareth, uh, which is pretty much nowhere. And people couldn't believe it when they go, oh, Jesus, oh, he's from Nazareth. Nothing good comes from Nazareth. What do you mean? What do you mean Jesus is from Nazareth? And, uh, and so there's something to be said about that, the fact that Jesus came from Nazareth. He came from a place where nobody comes from. And he rose above everything above every challenge and obstacle that he was faced and uh, he, he was faced with and people came and people listened and the power of God was with them every day. That is a testimony to uh, just the, the power of perseverance, even in Jesus life, all of those years leading up to the moments that he had in those few years of, uh, of ministry with his disciples. And so I want to encourage those of you that maybe you feel like 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 maybe it's a bit of the underdog story maybe it's a bit of uh, I can't get anywhere in life because all these things happen to me I want to encourage you today that you can you can get somewhere and I actually want to share with you this verse um, first John chapter 5 and we're gonna jump over to uh, I'm trying to remember what verse it was now um, I believe it was verse 8 um, well, verse 7 so we have these three witnesses the spirit the water and the blood and all three agree since we believe human testimony surely we can believe the greater testimony that comes from God and he has testified about his son all who believe in the Son of God know in their hearts that this testimony is true those who don't believe it are actually calling God a liar because they don't believe what God has testified about his son and this is what God has testified his son has given us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have God's son does not have life. I think um, that there is there is something to be said about whoever has the son has life. I mean, your life can be made new, and whatever stain may be on your past, I want to invite you to just allow Jesus to come in and wipe that clean because that's what he does and he will take your life right now and make it brand new and he will use your past circumstances to enhance your ministry in your future situations and so allow God to move in and through you each and every day give it over to him let him bring new life into you and maybe we can pray for that right now father for those that may be hung up on the things of the past, I pray right now, God, that you help them dream about the future, how their past can help them with their future. And God, we just pray for new life today. We speak new life into every heart of every person who may be tuning in today. Bring them new life afresh. In Jesus' name, amen.